Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we are discussing the election of John Adams as president. The election of 1796 was America's first contested election for president. With George Washington's retirement, the electorate and other founding fathers split into two camps. John Adams was a candidate of the Federalist Party, while Thomas Jefferson emerged as the favorite of the Democratic Republicans. The Federalists were pro-British and favored a powerful central government, while Jefferson's party were pro-French and favored strong states' rights. The election split along geographic lines, with Adams and the Federalists capturing the North, and Jefferson the Southern states plus Pennsylvania. The final tally of the Electoral College was 71 votes for Adams and 68 for Jefferson. Under the original rules of the Constitution, the top vote-getter, Adams, was declared president, and the second highest, Jefferson, was named vice president. Having the president and vice president from opposing political parties would prove to be a problem, as Jefferson worked to undermine the Adams administration for the next four years. From a policy standpoint, Adams continued President Washington's position of neutrality in the war between England and France, angering the French. Consequently, in late 1796, they began an aggressive campaign against American merchant ships, capturing over 300 in less than one year. Unfortunately, the United States was powerless to respond as our Navy had been decommissioned in 1785. Although Congress passed the Naval Act of 1794, which authorized the building of six warships, none of the vessels put to sea until 1797. Next week, we will discuss the rising tensions with France during the Adams administration. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.